Bodily. Welcome to our Meet the Faculty webisode series. Today, we will be speaking with Professor Dargenio from the Biomedical Engineering Department. Professor David Dargenio, the holder of the Chenette Chair in Biomedical Technology, received his PhD from USC and has since been researching and teaching for the past 30 years in the Biomedical Engineering Department, or BME. Professor Dargenio teaches sophomore and junior level biomedical engineering courses, including BME 210, or Biomedical Engineering Computational Methods, where students use principles learned problems in biomedical therapy. I'm often asked by students and parents and others, so what is biomedical engineering? And it involves the application of principles from physics and chemistry and math to understand both biological processes in health and disease, as well as the application of those ideas for developing technologies to diagnose disease and treat disease. Biomedical engineering students at uh, USC will take one class in biomedical engineering called Introduction to Biomedical Engineering and for the first time they'll get an appreciation of how some of the chemistry and physics and math that they learned in high school can be applied to biological problems. Uh, how it's essential for understanding, for example, how devices like imaging systems work, uh, cardiac stimulators work, uh, and neuromuscular stimulators work as examples. I'm, I'm also often asked why I teach, uh, and the answer for the, to that is, is very easy. Uh, to be a good researcher, you have to be able to teach. Uh, as you teach, you learn more, and most significantly, you learn how to explain concepts to students, which helps you explain concepts, your research ideas, to other investigators in the field. And so one of the things I enjoy most about interacting with undergraduate students is the, the opportunity to talk to them about their career goals and their directions uh, and to, to explain to them the broad opportunities they might have after they leave an undergraduate degree. It's very easy while you're a student to be so obsessed with all of your classes that sometimes you forget the bigger picture. This is just, this is just a building block uh, for your future career. And to be able to share with them some of my experiences from many of the students who I've encountered over the years, uh, that also gives the current students an idea about the broader opportunities that are available to them. Uh, the Department of BME has about 15 faculty here at, at USC focused in a number of areas. Uh, we have a strength in neuroscience and neural engineering. We have several faculty working in mechanisms of memory and learning, vision, neuromuscular control. We have a number of faculty who also work in device and diagnostic technologies, ultrasound, nanotechnologies, mem technologies, and we have faculty who work in the biosystems area, uh, applications to the cardiovascular system and metabolic system, for example. We're in the, the lab of Dr. Jerry Loeb, who's a professor in biomedical engineering. Dr. Loeb is interested in investigating neuromuscular control. Um, he looks at various fundamental disease processes in the neuromuscular system, as well as the development of devices to improve and enhance neuromuscular control. Uh, my work is in the area of systems pharmacology. Uh, we apply quantitative ideas to understanding and targeting drug action. The focus areas are in oncology as well as in infectious diseases. Getting involved with research as an undergraduate is a very important aspect of undergraduate education. One way to do that is to approach a professor that you've had in a class who you, who you might be interested in their research and asking them if you can volunteer in their lab during the semester or even during the summer if you have time. It's always difficult when you're in high school to try to think about what you're going to major in at a university. And it's especially difficult to think about engineering because as a high school student, you don't have any engineering classes. You have math and you have physics and you have chemistry, for example. What I always tell high school students, if you have an interest in biology, uh, if you do well in math and physics and chemistry, then bringing all of those ideas together in biomedical engineering can be a very rewarding career opportunity for you. USC students uh, who, who come here have a lot of choices. They can go to any top university. Uh, and what's most enjoyable is their energy, their desire to investigate different areas of study, uh, to study in engineering, but also to explore the humanities. And it's always enjoyable to have those students as undergraduates. 
Uh, a number of universities have biomedical engineering programs. Uh, here, here at USC, I think our BME program is special for two reasons, the students and the faculty. Uh, the students are amazingly inquisitive. They, they come to this program because they're interested in applying uh, their quantitative skills uh, to biology and medicine. And they're very excited about exploring new areas. That coupled with a group of faculty who work in diverse areas of biomedicine and biomedical technology makes it an exciting place to be. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed meeting one of the professors from the Viterbi School of Engineering. For more information, be sure to check out viterbivoices.usc.edu. Fight on!